Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today is another battle of the CPUs, and this time it's going to be in a test of Handbrake. So the CPUs we're testing are pretty much exactly the same as the rest of this series. So if you want to check that out, then all the previous episodes will be in the description if you've not watched them already. But today we're going to be putting the i5-6600K against the FX8320, and we're going to see which CPU is actually best for Handbrake conversions. Now I'm going to be converting an MP4 to MKV and I'll tell you more about it later on in the video. But yeah, that's essentially what we're going to be doing today. But before I do that, don't forget to check out the rest of the series if you haven't already. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to XFX for supplying me with the R9390X graphics card and the XFX 850 watt power supply. Without them, this series wouldn't be possible. So thank you to XFX for supplying me with the R9390X graphics card and the XFX 850 watt power supply. Without them, this series would not be possible. So a massive thank you goes out to them and all their links will be in the description. Right, so let's get into it now and see which one of these CPUs is best for handbrake. Right guys, so you can see we've started the handbrake test now and I'm actually converting my MP4 review of my HP laptop I did. So that is at 1080p, 8 minutes 29 seconds and both of them are actually doing exactly the same thing so they're not rendering two different files. Now I know they are shot a little bit different because I did them on different days and I didn't quite match them up that's my fault I will admit to that but I have matched them so they start at exactly the same time you can see the timer above both videos and that is a real-time indicator of how long this is actually taking so you can see I'm actually converting from mp4 to mkv just to give you an idea of which CPU performs this the best. If you want to see the differences between these PCs, then check out all the uh, videos I've done previously and you'll get an idea of the little differences. But really the main difference is the type of RAM and the motherboard, but pretty much that, everything else is the same. Also, they're using exactly the same hard drives to write and read to so there's no differences there whatsoever either so what I'm going to do now is stop talking speed this bit up and see which one of these CPUs actually finishes this task the fastest So you can see both of them have finished the conversion now and it's actually the AMD that comes out on top. It actually won by just under 30 seconds which is a pretty significant margin over an 8 minute video. Now I mean both of these CPUs actually did this task really quickly so I can't really complain either way it's just in this regard the AMD has done this the quickest. Right guys, so now you've seen the video and you have seen that AMD did win this one and I'm pretty surprised. I mean the victory wasn't huge but it was a significant margin over the Intel and I wasn't really expecting it to actually be faster but well there you go. I mean you've seen the proof for Handbrake and other video conversion software like that. It seems that AMD does a better job than Intel. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised at how well the AMD is still performing. And if you've not seen the rest of my series, you can see how well the AMD is still holding up against Intel's latest. So yeah, really, really surprised at how well AMD is still doing after all these years. So yeah, for Handbrake, it seems like AMD is the way to go. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you've got any questions about this video or anything else, then drop a comment down below. So I'd just like to thank XFX again and I'd like to thank all you guys for watching, for commenting, for liking and all that good stuff you do to help the channel out. It really does mean a lot to me. So thank you again and I will see you all on the very next video.